Derek Sloan alongside Brandon Hogg. Brandon, 15 points, 10 assists, and a win. Yeah. Take us through that game. Uh, you know, it was, it was a very good game. Both teams were undefeated at the moment, and uh, we had a good game plan going in. I got a lot of scores. We got athletic guys across the board, and uh, basically my job is just controlling the game, man, bringing those guys together. And uh, we, we putting our ego to the side, man. People are getting their buckets, and uh, we're working as a team, and that results into a win every time. And what's going to be the key to securing that championship game tomorrow? It's going to be a tough one. Like I say, you know, the, they're coming in, too, with the mindset of winning the championship. But uh, I, think, I think our chemistry and our coach and uh, our defense, we got guys that have stepped their roles, and uh, it's going to be a tough one to beat us, you know, because we're, we're, we're gelling together real well right now. Absolutely. And how's this experience been for you with the Global Basketball Summer League thus far? Oh, man, Daryl Reshaw, he has a great event going on here, man. Gets a chance and opportunity for a lot of guys fresh out of college, you know, experienced pros as myself to come out here and get in front of these coaches and show, uh, show what they can offer, you know, as far as on the pro level. And uh, it's just been an overall good experience, you know. Guys, is, we got, you know, guys working together, coaches having practice, and pro coaches here. And they're also teaching us the game as they're coaching. So it's a great experience right now. You grew up in St. Louis, man. When did you first discover your love for the game? Oh, man, at a young age, man. I grew up an N1 fan, what the problem was. And I didn't play AAU or anything, so I was always able to handle the ball and everything. And I got uh, underneath some great coaches throughout my career. And they taught me the fundamentals and then, you know, just put that all together. And then after a while, confidence kicked in and, you know, I'm a result right now. A hard work. Absolutely, man. And you played overseas last year. What was that experience like for you? Overseas is different, man. It, 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 teaches, it teaches you to grow up quick. You have to learn the game. You know, over there, it's like more system. You come over to the States, it's more one-on-one -on -one attack sometimes. But uh, they have system basketball, great shooters out there. So you really learn the game, man. You know, as far as off the court as well, just adapting to the culture and the food, the lifestyle. It's just an overall great experience, man. Once in a lifetime, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Playing overseas and playing here, what are some areas of your game you feel like you could develop on to become even better? Uh, you know, when I come back and I run into these guys that's fresh out of college, I see how fast they're moving and everything. So over there, you kind of slow the game up. So my, my body and my game is more of a slow pace. So I have to get to where I get my uh, aggressiveness and quick step back, you know, when I come out here. And uh, just a few different rules, you know. They got, they got a rule over there that you're not allowed to sweep. So you're allowed to sweep when you come back over to the state. So it's just, just a few adjustments, but it's still the game of basketball, man. You're a ball player. You got to make ball player make moves. And on the flip side, what are some strengths that you can offer to a franchise? Oh, as, as a PG, man, I could run any team. You know, I feel, I feel that. And uh, you sur surround me around the right guys, you know. And uh, I'm, out, I'm out hunting championships. Last year, we got beat on a buzzer beater to go to a championship game. And that's, that's just my MO, man, just bringing the winning, winning atmosphere. You know, not, not necessarily the most athletic, but I can bring the win, win, winning atmosphere to a team. My final question for you, man. What music you listen to before a game to get you ready, man? Any specific artists? I know you're from St. Louis, so what do you listen yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, you know, I heard Nelly going on, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more getting away from rapping everything, more gospel, so that's how I roll, yeah. Okay, no St. Louis lunatics or nobody uh, like nah, that? No, nah, that's old school right there. There you go. All right, man. Derek Spawn, Brandon Hogg, appreciate your Thank time. You, Thank I you, man. No problem. It. Thanks, man.